What was it actually like, sort of, in the machine? It was, it was super interesting. You got to really learn people's music tastes. And so the person before you, when you go in, their music's still playing. I used to choose Bob Marley. I found it very relaxing. Hi, I'm Anna, a scientist. And hi, I'm David, an athlete. We're going to be answering some of the most such questions about radiotherapy. So let's, get, get the let's bring in? the board in. Let's get the board in. Okay, what have we got? Oh, okay. First one starts, what is? What is radiotherapy? So radiotherapy is a treatment for cancer. So it uses radiation to try and treat the cancer, to try and reduce the chance of the cancer coming back, and sometimes to help relieve symptoms. I think you have some lived experience of radiotherapy. So what I was do, it like to go I through? Do, I do have a, I have a little bit of lived experience. I've gone through two, two courses of radiotherapy. My first one was six weeks long, and the second one was uh, three weeks long. And for me, I, I'd spent my life as a professional sportsman, so exercise was extremely important for me. So I, I tried to stay active during, during the treatments. It was a very humbling experience, uh, but it, it was one that's yeah, it's prolonged my life. So I'll be forever grateful for the invention of radiotherapy. Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, when was radiotherapy discovered? The very first recorded use of radiation to treat cancer was back in 1896. Now, Cancer Research UK laid the foundations for modern radiotherapy back in the early 1900s. And since then, it's become more accurate, it's become more powerful, and it now benefits millions of patients worldwide. It's, it's incredible to think how many people are still alive because of that invention, yeah, Especially right? over that long time frame. Yeah. How does radiotherapy work? So is this something you've ever searched? That I would say I've probably searched over a hundred times. But I'm sure you can explain that way better than I can. Okay, wow. So on a very basic level, so we're all made up of cells and inside most of our cells is DNA. Now, DNA is essentially an instruction manual. Now, when our DNA is damaged, these instructions can't be read properly, and this can lead cells to stop growing or die. And that's what radiotherapy relies on. So it uses radiation to damage the DNA inside cancer cells, either killing them or stopping them growing. Should we go on to the next okay, one? Let's okay, let's see, what it, one. let's see what it is. Is radiotherapy painful? I think that's, yeah, that's a great question. And I think it's probably one that a lot of people search. For me, it wasn't painful. I had a tumor in my spinal cord in my neck. Towards the end of the treatment, I did have some discomfort, but there's an incredible medical team at every radiotherapy center who are there to support you and get you through any discomfort that you may be feeling. Does radiotherapy cause hair loss? There was a period of time where I didn't have to shave, uh, but after the treatment finished and my body recovered, my uh, my hair grew back to where it was sort of before treatment. It's very targeted, so it's where you're having the treatment that there might potentially be a little bit of hair loss where the radiation goes in and then where the radiation leaves as well. What are the side effects of radiotherapy? I think it's, that's got to be individual, right, to where each person has having their radiotherapy delivered. For me, my side effects were sore throat, dry throat. By week four, I couldn't eat. Uh, then I lost my voice for a few weeks, but as everything returned back to normal. Should we do another one? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, another what is. What is it like to go through radiotherapy? Your whole family go on this journey, so it's not just you. Even if it's you that's receiving the treatment and the beam, it's an emotional one, I, I won't lie. It, it is emotional because there's a, there's a lot at stake. Actually having the beam delivered was, for me, it was quite a very peaceful time. I used to meditate, that really helped me just to focus on my breathing and meditate and listen to the music. Okay, so it's this question is, uh, why do people have to wear a mask during radiotherapy? So I mentioned earlier that radiotherapy works by damaging the DNA inside cancer cells, but it can also damage some healthy cells as well. So it's really important that we're really accurately targeting the radiotherapy on the tumour. And a mask or a mould helps us do this by making sure that the radiotherapy machine is accurately targeted on the tumour and then the part of the body being treated is kept still, either in the mask or in the mould. And, and that's something that's progressed massively. If you have children that are involved, usually sometimes they paint superhero masks and I, I always felt quite disappointed as an adult because I, <laughs> I actually wanted a superhero mask painted. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really important part of the treatment. What is one common misconception about radiotherapy? Yes. For, I think for me it was that people think it, it's going to hurt. 
and I kept trying to look for the beam. Everyone I met on that sort of day one were, was like, is this going to hurt? I guess people think that it's really old fashioned. Yeah. I mean, it's a, one of those cornerstones of cancer treatment that's been around a long time. It's come a really long way and it's a really rapidly evolving area of research. Our researchers are working year on year to make it better, to improve and save the lives of more and more people every year. So it's really not an old fashioned treatment, even though it goes back a really long way. Okay, this is a big one. What is the future of radiotherapy? This is a great one. One of the things at the moment is flash radiotherapy. It delivers radiation in fractions of a second. It damages cancer cells while sparing healthy cells. So with further research in the future, this could pave the way for more effective, kinder radiotherapy with fewer side effects. The future of radiotherapy is really bright.